What's up, YouTube? Your boy Outlaw V2, man. Coming at you for a Monday morning banger, man. As you can see, the background behind me, man, I'm in a different car. It's because I fucking, over the weekend, I capitalized on a little opportunity to basically pick up a little scraper. Um, for those of y'all that don't know what a scraper is, that's West Coast lingo for like, like a little beater car. Car that you just like you get for like a thousand dollars or fifteen hundred dollars and you just drive it around until it like blows up or uh, the wheels fall off you know you know how it is just a little economy car man so it's just like one of those i've been doing i've been getting scrapers man for like ever sorry man my allergies are bothering the fuck out of me today um it's kind of windy yesterday but um so yeah scrapers man every time i've always had like uh like i like to have nice cars and expensive cars but for every expensive car that you have man you don't want to be driving that thing every day to the fucking gas station or have to drive it every day to the gas station or just to go everywhere you know my zl1 is like it's a great car but it's not a car i want to drive every day nor do i want to put that kind of mileage on it too you know cars are a horrible investment as it is you don't need to further further depreciate the car by driving it everywhere you go. So, that being said, um, I bought a scraper, man. I bought a 2000, uh, no, I bought a 1997 Honda Accord. Um, I paid a thousand dollars for this kid. Shout out to my shout out to my boy Steve Patterson who cuts my hair, who does this artwork on my fucking head. Um, I was looking for a car. Um, at my company, uh, I have a company car, but I, I drive crazy, and they have the number on the back of the fucking uh, on the back of your vehicle. Yeah, this is a true story. Um, they have your number on the back of the vehicle. You know, I fucking drive crazy, so you know, fucking, I gotta just be careful with my company car. So that's one of the things, man. You drive your company car around, and people can call on you, and you know, try to threaten your job and shit. I think that's a bunch of bullshit. But that was one of the reasons I wanted to get a scraper, so I don't always need to drive my company car. Uh, or always have to drive Becky. So um, so I decided to get a scraper. So my boy who cuts my hair, I said, hey man, I'm looking for a car. Do you know anybody? Sorry about this fucking sun. I picked the worst time, dude. The worst time to have a sonic flare. Um, I said, hey, do you know anybody selling a car? And he said, um, I'm gonna try to do this, hold on. Try to go fucking right-handed with it, left-handed. All right. So he, I said, you know anyone that's selling a car? And he said, man, you know what? As a matter of fact, I fucking do do. And uh, it's a guy who also cuts hair here. And I said, the fucking dude that works in the other, other chair? He said, yeah. So man, we link up. I got myself a 1997 Honda Accord, bro. And it, I, I call this bitch the Predator because it has fucking stealth mode engaged. Because when you drive around in a ZL1, Everyone knows everywhere you go because you see your car on Instagram, you see like motherfuckers in your neighborhood putting your car on Snapchat and be like, hey, I saw a fucking blah blah outlaw V2 here at fucking, you know, <clears throat> fucking Carl's Jr. or whatever. Get a burger. You can't go anywhere stealth mode, man. You can't roll around and without having mad people fucking know. God, this sun is fucking oppressive. Yeah. Bro, the sun is fucking beating down today. It's supposed to be winter. People driving fucking crazy. Can I wear my scraper? All right, so, man, scrapers. So I picked this bitch up for $1,000, dude. It's so clean. It has 212,000 miles, which apparently to a fucking Honda Accord is like nothing. This thing rides like a dream. Um, again, I call her Predator because you can get in this thing and it's like stealth mode. You just look like every other fucking Charlie, Dick, or fucking Jonathan on the highway. Which sometimes that's how I want to roll. So I think I'm just going to tint this bitch out um, so that no one can fucking see me. And I can just roll incognito. I keep my tags up to fucking speed. Um, all that's good. Fucking. Uh, so yeah. But it isn't, it isn't so ragged out that you would be nervous or like embarrassed to like ride your friends around in this. Like when he said he oh, he said he wanted a thousand dollars. Again, man, if you could pick up a fucking Honda anything for a thousand dollars, even if it's like not running, it's like almost running, 
It's that's a life hack, man. Pick yourself up a fucking scraper. Because it'll save you money in the long run, dude. Like Becky gets 11 like 11 miles to the gallon or some fucking ridiculous amount of gas and she needs 91 octane all the time. And I and I don't stay out of the gas pedal. No, I race everybody. I don't give a fuck if you have a fucking if you have a goddamn if you have a coffee if you have a, a Folgers coffee can muffler on your car and I see it, I'll creep up on you in the ZL1, not in this car. Um, but again, it's a life hack because I don't stay out of it, man. So I, I, met, I met, get mad gas. So anytime I want to go anywhere, man, it's just money out of my pocket, money out of my pocket. So you buy something like this for $1,000, dude. I literally have been driving around for like two days. I put... $25 of gas in it and fill the tank. I've been driving it for fucking uh, like two days and look. Look at that's the gas. Look at the fucking gas. Like, oh, it's not even budge off F. I'd have probably filled up Becky friggin' twice in the amount of time as I ride around in this fucking scraper. Um, Alright, so cycle update. My boy has got me um, my boy, <clears throat> my boy is over at Royd Bazaar, holding me down, man. They got all my stuff shipped. I know a couple of, uh, couple of my viewers, man, have, have ordered their stuff. So, uh, feel free to comment on my page, man. Um, feel free to tell your friends about it. So the discount code is working. They explain to me how it works. Like they, you, you put it in and then they adjust the price. Um, and again, I don't work there. So I don't know anything about the finance and the billing or how much the APR is or where you're supposed to send your payments. You know, I don't know none of that shit. So you, I'm just gonna tell you, if you leave that in the comments, man, I won't be able to help you. But anything that, that, that uh, deals with me and my cycle, cycle's on the way, uh, it's already shipped. I got shipping information. I'm just waiting for, uh, I'm waiting for the plane to arrive. Fucking goonie goo hoo. Get, get, it, get it in. Uh, gym is opening. I, I heard we're gonna go back to like fucking code purple or some shit like that which means gyms will close again so shit if i don't if that happens i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do before you can take an ak-47 out in these streets or something like uh, like dead ass this fucking scraper i'll be running people down in the streets if the gym closes one more time but again it's out of my control so that's all i got man scraper life 2020 my life hack for today is buy yourself a honda civic or a honda a honda accord or a honda wagon Whatever you can get a hold of, of, of that says Honda in the fucking uh, title is a good buy um, because it'll save you money in the long run. Um, and that's it. If you can pick up a girl in a Honda Accord, you can pick up a girl in fucking anything. Trust on God. All right. That's all I got. Holla at your boy.